This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and behind me here you see Hi Fi set. And you might be wondering, well, what brand is it? It's Hi Fi. No, what brand? Well, it's Hi Fi. That, that is the brand. <laughs> Hi Fi. And this is the set, it is the, the sexy sports sedan. So I'm going to do a range test with it. I have charged it 100% in the garage. So, man, I just have to show you guys. The stunning looks. It looks unlike anything else on the market today. <laughs> so, oh shit, man, I stepped on the coach. Okay, but if you want to be different, if you dare to be different, you have to buy high five. But you better watch this video and some of the other videos before you buy the high five because, uh, yeah, at least if you want to buy this car, you have to know the advantages and the disadvantages with the car. So, um, yeah, first let me show you. It acts like a freaking video game. And then it has suicide doors. Interesting. Wifey sat here yesterday and she commented that it had plenty of space and also had good seats. And what the hell? Purple seat belts. Ooh, ball move. There's lights everywhere. Okay, okay. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but you cannot see back there. So this is camera only. <laughs> yeah, like what the heck, man, this car, it's insane. I'm gonna show you here what we are dealing with here. See, it's some kind of, I don't know what you call this, hatchback. Yeah, I mean, if it had falcon wing doors, it would go straight into uh, back to the Future 4, just the way it looks, man. It, it's just, okay, let me get from this angle. Look, look at the back, oh, holy macaroni. Oh, but it looks sexy and it has whooping 120 kilowatt hour battery. So how is it to drive? It has those humongous wheels. Yeah, 22 inch, 22 inch winter wheels. Who does that, right? <laughs> okay, and then we get inside here. Always remember to do this. I think wifey still doesn't do this. Okay, and then you press the brake. It closes for you. Um, man, just those, those damn sound effects, man, the Chinese. Uh, I mean, why? Why? It's like this car was designed by a teenager or a kid. <laughs> okay, uh, I should walk through all this interior in a separate video. It requires a lot of attention. You can tilt the screen, you can do lots of stuff. But okay, what we need to know is here, it will reset this automatically. It doesn't have a tr regular trip meter. So I have to pay attention every time. And then also I want to know if there's an upper cap here. It's a Chinese car after all. Okay, and then you can change mode here. What, well, let me... Yeah, you use the the pedal, uh, the flappy pedals here, and you see that you can change mode. And uh, which mode should I use? Should I use eco mode, comfort? I think I'm gonna use comfort. But man, those those damn sound effects, man! Okay, okay, let's let's start driving. Okay, let's check the weight of the car. Front axle. Oh, all right. One, three, forty. Then the whole car. Let me see. Let me get in there. There, there, there. Whoa! This is a heavy beast. Two six eighty. Wow. Actually, we are now at Circle K Dar. So normally I go to Minnesota. Well, there is no map here I can show you, by the way. But normally I go further north, but I found out that, you know, today it's Sunday and the road construction is gone for the weekend and then back on weekdays. So yeah, uh, what we need to do is we have to check this. This is from Yesheim uh, to Aizbo, a little bit loop uh, until I realized that, oh, I can go back here. So, so wow, 324 watt hour per kilometer. But uh, look, 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 look. This is Unreal Engine. I wonder what version of Unreal Engine it is. I told you it's a video game. <laughs> okay, but the way you reset this is that um, 
let's see how is this going can you click here no you can you can swipe here to see some more stats uh and then of course there's an if you go to i think it was here there's like it's like every chinese car uh you just see for the past 25 kilometers you know so i mean doing a range test with the chinese cars you know it requires you to be a freaking ninja all right but anyway so the way you reset it is that let me see you have to exit wait 324 was that what i wrote down or did it go up while we were stationary no, it's it, okay. Okay. Well, that means that it, it counts a little bit uh, when we are stationary. I mean, it doesn't count when we are stationary. So you have to exit the car and then close it. Yeah, I found out you can close the stupid uh, video game sound when you open and close the door. I mean, you can disable that sound. Okay. And then I have this key card here, but normally there'd be a key fob, but uh, I actually managed to uh, lose the key fob. <laughs> My mistake, but you, you lock the car. Okay, and then yeah, there's supposed to be some cool icons when you lock the car. Okay, there, there's lights everywhere, huh, man. And then when you unlock the car now, oh, wait, wait, a little bit longer. There, unlock the car, then it should show some, yeah, some animations or shit, man. <laughs> it goes bananas. And then you, un you open the door. And then let's see. How is that again? I think when you press the brake now, it should reset. Uh, what it doesn't <sighs> okay i have another method of uh, we have to just calculate the diff now and then we'll figure out the consumption oh never mind as soon as i put the car in drive then it resets okay all good let's go now oh, we're on the move and uh, we actually have head of display here but it's tiny it's asian size head of display well okay uh so i have to cruise 127 kilometers per hour to match 120 uh, and right now I'm using auto steer. You can probably see it there, maybe. You see, there's this icon. Uh, but it is so cringy the way it drives. Uh, this is probably one of the worst, maybe the worst auto steer ever. Uh, and the Chinese cars they have the worst auto steer, but this hi fi really tops it. Look, look, look here. Look, look, look at the curve. It's not even that sharp. Look what the car is doing now in the curve. It's 110 zone here. Uh, it's slowing down like a Toyota driver in the curves. Uh, some places even worse than this. I mean, I'm doing an, an oh, no, no. what the heck was that shit, man? It, it tends to do that all the time. It would just drive into the, the ditch almost like, what the heck, man? I have to go fast now. It's ruining my test now. Okay, I have to go. But man, uh, yeah, um, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> Maybe they don't have snow in China. Okay, I have to compensate by going a little bit faster for a bit now. So, um, yeah, uh, another problem is that uh, the maximum cruising speed is only 130 kilometers per hour on the speed though. So that means that the, the GPS cruising speed, if you want to cruise with cruise control, is only 123 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and the Germans here, <laughs> they've been laughing, lol. That is not good. Um, and what else? Yeah, at least I haven't found a way to only use cruise control. It's either auto steer and cruise control or manual. So uh, hopefully they fix that before uh, they penetrate Europe. Uh, this is strange. We're just driving along the motorway now. You see, man, come on, come on. I'm fighting. I have to press the accelerator to fight. Oh, it's trying to slow down. But look, look in the visualization here. The car keeps seeing park cars by the road let me see is there another one there <clears throat> i see it all the time as we drive oh no no go faster shit go faster come on, come on no of course every time i want to demonstrate then nothing happens okay now you see that it visualizes there, 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 there's nothing there okay i'm gonna turn around here man maybe this car can see dead people Oh, we have to go to the cemetery and test. <laughs> Shit. Maybe those cars we see, they were actually crashed cars. They were ghost cars that used to crash. I mean, that, that crashed there one time, long time ago. <sighs> oh, shit. That is scary, man. We are almost back at dawn. And then, yeah, over here, closer to Oslo, we get more dense traffic. But at least I'd say that 99% uh, of the test or 95 to 99% of the test was clean no traffic holding me up 
Uh, so this means that <laughs> the last part here we have lower average speed. We're cruising at only around 100, 105 kilometers per hour. Okay, um, but whatever. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, good enough. You see, let me exit here. Uh, zoop. Okay. Seems like there's some Danes and Swedes also traveling. Maybe they have some kind of winter vacation now. It's end of January. All right, result of the 120 test, 311 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, that's roughly on par with uh, BMW i5, wasn't it? i5 M60, they have similar power, they have similar shape. Uh, okay, but then of course, um, the weather today is worse than the BMW run. All right, I just have to get inside now and then prepare and then go for the 90 test. All right, we're now doing the 90 test. And um, I have to cruise at 96 this time too much nine why well, it jumps a bit up and down no 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 what the heck why why is it driving so slow now you you can you, oh, look at that look at that look. shit oh man, man no no don't don't drive that slow no 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 don't do this man it sounds like when i'm talking to my daughter i'm like no 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 daughter no no isabel don't don't uh, don't dig in the trash no 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 don't put that one there no 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 that's too dangerous no no and uh, I have to talk to this car like that. Oh, man. Oh, okay, okay, now someone is driving slow. I have to overtake them. Hmm, I just noticed that there is no outside temperature showing here in the screen. Uh, well, I've seen that before in Chinese cars. It was the MG ZS EV. Uh, so, yeah, we don't know what the outside temperature. I had to look at the weather forecast and then it could tell me that it's uh, plus three degrees Celsius outside and that uh, makes sense. No, what? Man, I, it's driving slow in... I'm doing 90 now in the 110 zone. Oh, man, I have to keep pressing the accelerator to make it console, make it not go too slow. Yeah, look, 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 okay, okay, here. What the heck? Wait, let me check something here. Uh, every time I... Wa no, 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 what the heck? Don't go that slow. I mean, we are, we're doing 87 kilometers per hour GPS speed here. This is going to ruin my test. But let me check something. If I wipe... Oh, okay. If I wipe... No, that's fine. Oh, I misclicked. Uh, I wipe and then flushed. Yeah, it's on the same... There's only one stock there and there's no stock here. So that's a bit uh, interesting. Okay, let's test the Meridian sound system, shall we? As you can hear, uh, there's plenty of bass, that's good, also fairly deep, but there's almost lack of details in the high tones. It sounds almost as if the tweeter was blown, uh, and also some of the brass uh, instrument also doesn't sound that great. Okay, next song. Same story here, uh, okay bass, but mid and high tone, uh, it, it sounds quite muffled. Yeah, uh, okay, next song. Now I'm gonna listen for some rattling in the doors mainly. Mid bass that rattles. Okay, that's good. No rattling. Yeah. Okay, last one here. Nice, fairly punchy bass. Uh, not them punches I've heard, but still nice and deep. But also lacks detail in the high tone again here. So, okay, uh, maybe this uh, sound system has been optimized for playing. <laughs> But still, even when playing these kind of songs here, I, I'm not enjoying it, unlike in the BMW i5 M50, no, M60 I tried recently. That one had the Bowers and Wilkins uh, system, 
car costs okay slightly more but we are still talking about 1.1 million nook in this car you know 100,000 euros but uh, the Boris and Wilkins system in the BMW sounded way 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 better so when you pay the premium price for this hi-fi I expect the stereo to also be top-notch you know there are cars that cost half of this right like a Neo ET5 and then the Neo has a better sound system yeah so uh, how many points should I give it or maybe I can ask you guys how many points out of 10 would you guys give, rate this sound system in the BMW I gave it 10 out of 10 it was just Mwah! the BMW was like, the, the chef's kiss, kiss this is more like man you see, you see here we have blue line when it's outputting power and then green line when it's regening and throughout the test now the car has been slowing down in whatever that doesn't doesn't really look like a sharp curve you know, I set the cruise speed to 97 kilometers per hour and, and it keeps slowing down and also the last tunnel we entered it slowed down to 85 kilometers per hour it did the semi-hard uh, phantom braking holy crap man uh, I hope that the customers in Europe they don't get this experience that this is just some kind of beta version I'm sitting on all right, Russell from the 90 test, 238 watt of a kilometer. Ooh, well, it's a thirsty beast. Wait, where is this again? The beast from the east. <laughs> and you see up in the corner here, you see how many percent we have left. It's uh, okay. I mean, it's hard to see because I'll be sitting like this and be like, hmm, how many percent still charge do we have? I have to bend over here like, oh, we have 56%. But I will show you that if we switch over to night mode, now we're in day mode day mode okay so if we go to uh, display scroll down a bit no 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 here switch over to night mode then this shit happens and then it's almost impossible to see uh you can see if i zoom in yes but you see the problem is that um, um the battery uh, part or the one with the juices that's uh, lime color and then the contrast is horrible. So eventually, yeah, when you have lower still the charge, then it's easier to read it. But this is poor design. They should have designed it differently. So when I'm sitting here at night, we're like, huh, how many percent do we have? Uh, it's Weissnisch. Okay, switch back to day mode for now. Okay, but now we need to drive it down to uh, maybe not zero, but at least close to zero. Uh, so we can measure the battery capacity. Okay, we're driving the final loop now to get the battery low and it's uh, 2.40 in the afternoon on a Sunday and man, there's lots of traffic here. Lots of left lane campers, um, but now it's not too critical that we have to maintain a certain speed. So um, yeah, I just wonder if the state of charge scale is linear or not. Um, because this car has some challenging charging uh, uh, problems. So I will actually not end up at Ayuntidal, I will end up at home. Yeah, and I'm just gonna AC charge. <laughs> we are done, D-U-N, back home now. And uh, you see, last segment we draw 176.5. Wow, very impressive. Okay, consumption wasn't that high because uh, we were stuck behind so many campers. And then, yeah, you can see how many percent we have left. Uh, or can you? Well, now maybe you can see, okay, let me see. Now you can see that we have 5%, yeah. And one thing I noticed was when I was driving, you know, I was just, okay, I was checking here and then I tried to close, you see? It seems like it's not that responsive around there. It's random, okay? Like I, I would try to click, okay, of course now with demo effect. Now that I want to demonstrate, then it works. But you see that sometimes it takes several clicks before it works, especially when you're driving. So, all right, but um, let me calculate uh, the battery capacity and everything. I'm gonna show something here. Okay, we have somewhat steep driveway. Well, okay, not steep, but at least it's uh, kind of slippery. And then let me see. I'll show that if we are in comfort mode, we try to go up. Oh, okay, put the car in drive. Okay. You see that the tricky part is that when you go try to go up here, okay, that's fine, right? But let's say if we stop halfway and then you try to start, uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Okay. But then if you switch over to what? Well, sport mode. Ugh, how is that going to work then? Uh, uh oh. You see, then it's more aggressive. 
then you spin, but then now I dig myself down. Here we go. Okay, but then okay, I don't know what custom is, but let's try now snow mode. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's not spinning. It's not spinning. Whoa, can it get up though? It's struggling. It's, str it's trying. Wait, is it only spinning the rear wheel? Wait, what about the front? Okay, let me get a little bit more speed. Come on. Come on, get up there. Get up there. You heavy beast. Oh. Oh. No, okay, okay. We have to go down a little bit. I need to go in reverse. Okay, just need a little bit more speed. Let's say from here, right? But you want to use snow mode because all the other modes, they are too aggressive. So here, you don't have to be that gentle on the throttle. And then you are up. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm in the backup camera, then I can't see the, the different modes. Okay, so I have to be in park. And then you can see the mode. Man, don't forget to comment about the sound effects. Well, let's test also the Highland since we have it here. Um, now I have it in standard, not chill mode even, all right? Let me see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you may make it hard. Get up roughly half the hill, uh, or half the, uh, the here, 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 here. This is the steepest, right? I think it's roughly the same space we stopped at with a uh, hi-fi. And then what? Let me accelerate. Wait, huh, wait, what? Why is it so much easier with the Tesla? Huh? Is it because the Tesla is lighter? Did we not drive on the same track as the Hi-Fi? I mean, we're talking about uh, maybe 900, uh, 1900 kilograms versus 2.6 tons here. Let me see, let me just make it, slight. okay, let me, let me just spin on purpose. Wait, what, what the heck, man? If I, if I spin, it just launches the thing up the hill like a freaking rocket from Elon Musk. <laughs> if I, <laughs> this is crazy. If I stomp on the accelerator, I mean, we have to find a, a, a slippier spot here. Come on, come on, come on. Well, this was not a test about uh, the Highland, but I mean, it's, it's still a, a good comparison, right? Um, because uh, the winter capabilities of uh, uh, Hi-Fi seems to be good, but it seems like maybe weight is a problem. You see here? If I just, okay, let me just, what, what do you do now? Do you just stomp on the accelerator? <laughs> okay, okay, well, that's a big difference, but uh, what kind of tires do we have here then? Well, we have non-original tires. This is Falcon tires. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They are 20% cheaper than the Nukion and Continental, but they are actually really, really good. Okay, anyway, back to the Hi-Fi. But man, look at the back of the car. It is so sexy. <laughs> it could be in Back to the Future 4, you know? That, oh, jeez. Oh, man, I, I love it. I love that Hi-Fi dares to be different. But okay, um, yeah, yeah, by the way, the back here, see, it's a freaking huge spoiler. Oh, shit, man. Oh, this is not safe for work. But okay, but you see, here's the problem. I didn't dare to go to, I mean, I could go to Ionity and charge there, but on, not on a, on, on a Sunday afternoon with lots of traffic. Uh, but okay, so the car is equipped with GBT plug. And you see, uh, Hi-Fi, they even provided me with two adapters. <laughs> so these are uh, combo CCS to GBT adapters. The problem is that I tried it on many, many chargers, Chem Power, uh, Del okay, or, or, I mean, Chem Power charger, Delta. Uh, also the hypercharger, they don't work, but it only works on Ionity. Uh, Ionity Dahl, it works. But I figured, okay, just come home instead. You see, now I'm char charging on Type 2, but this is also the inverter Type 2. This is what they use in China. So, yeah, man. Um, we have a big fat cable over there. And then I'm using the Easy. Man, I have three of those. I love them, man. Easy, thumbs up. Yeah. Look, 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 look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, shit. Man, like, oh. Okay, okay, uh, let, let me show you. The charging screen. Now, you guys need to see the charging screen, man. Oh. No, 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 no. 
It is over No, 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 no. Come on, open the door. Open. It is over sensitive. Okay, okay, there. Yeah. So, it's funny because you press the brake here and it closes just like a Model X. When I sat in the Highland, I did the same thing. <laughs> Went inside the car, pressed the brake, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, shit. But look here. This is a bit confusing. Um, first of all, it's just remaining power. No, it's remaining energy. I mean, well, unless you mean that uh, we have 6% power limit or, you know, we can get only 6% of the available power of, you know, for discharge, for, for acceleration and stuff. But I think it's supposed to be energy or battery, whatever. So it's a bit bad. Uh, they mix up energy and power, you know, kilowatt hour per hour. So it's a bit nitpicking, but at least they don't say kilowatt hour per hour here. <laughs> but wait, so we have a charging screen here. Um, but uh, uh, how long does it take to charge 100%? Hmm, well, you can press here, battery details. Wait, there's another charging screen, huh? Wait, uh, so why is there one charging screen here and one charging screen here? Uh, maybe there were two different student groups that made, made one student group made this charging screen and then another group went made this yeah that could be it because here we can see that it takes 11 hours and 15 uh, minutes <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, okay and here we can have more information we can stop charging and do more stuff but here is just uh, 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 uh all right all right so yeah based on the test today i measured that we have 108.9 kilowatt hour that's pretty good uh i suspect that maybe if we uh didn't hammer too hard and if the consumption was lower during summer we might get as much as 110 kilowatt hour but at least based on today's test we see that uh, we can go 458 kilometers remember that it was soaking wet and it was windy outside i think that's very good man uh okay when it comes to efficiency maybe not the best but given the weather conditions okay uh, i think during summer we can probably get some okay numbers so in a way yeah we are uh, okay not as good as maybe tesla but you know it's a big powerful and cool looking car so then I, I don't care too much if it's a bit thirsty but man the auto steer and some of the features in here and in general like some of the buttons the way they work or the way they don't work in in terms of of touch and feel and it, it would drive me nuts man yeah um and also in combination with the charging problems that I had, I, I, I can almost not fast charge anyway except for Ionity. And also some generation Ionity doesn't even work. A hypercharger doesn't work. Uh, Hi-Fi claims that it's supposed to work, but not for me. Um, and also I need to mention this because um, if you buy this uh, set in Europe, Norway, um, you get the GBT plug and the inverter type 2 plug and then they provide you with the adapter so you have to live with this supposedly they, they, they don't do a ccs uh, retrofit here so yeah um but uh, hi-fi you know they acknowledge that, that it might be troublesome so actually uh, you you get a two-year a 24 month buyback deal so that if you for some reason don't want the car within 24 months you can return it to hi-fi but there is always a butt crack you have to buy another hi-fi so if you go for the y then you get the ccs plug so then it should be way less troublesome so for me i mean the range is good the car looks stunning sound uh, stereo not the best even though it's meridian you see this is why we need to test every you know, just because it has that badge doesn't mean that it's good right overall though uh, when it comes to the drive it drives it drives handles really well okay it's a bit heavy but it's a it's a nice car but it's it's no bmw i4 or i5 you know those cars when you touch the steering wheel you touch everything well actually except for this part this person is nice and soft but it's like it's like um i don't know how to say it but um, the the i5 was in fact really nice to drive and the the, the the thick steering wheel everything was just nice feel over it and you can feel that that is quality you get what you pay for here you also get what you pay for but at least the i5 in comparison since i tested recently 
it has only 84 kilowatt hour here you get 120 kilowatt hours so in terms of range which te this test is all about then the hi fire beats the heck out of the i4 uh, sorry, i5 hi5 i5 yeah there's so many similar names and shit but yeah, by the end of the day, you have to figure out whether this car is for you or not. Uh, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, the big concern to have in regards of charging and auto steer. And um, to be honest, I'm not sure if they're going to fix the auto steer and all this. But by the way, before you guys hate on me, like, oh, Bjorn, I like your videos, but why are you hating on Chinese cars? Remember that I'm half Chinese, but okay, that doesn't matter. I've never been in China. But um, uh, I don't always hate Chinese cars, Neo, for example, they are freaking awesome. But they got the they got the heat from me also in the beginning when they didn't have good auto stay, but they fixed that, they improved it. Also, MG in the beginning was super annoying. It slowed down to the point where I was like, Ugh! I was losing my hair on my body and my head. Uh, but they fixed it and they made it go smoother and, and not slow down so much. So, for example, Neo, which is a Chinese brand, is probably one of the best Chinese brand. Uh, uh, brands out there so when it comes to hi-fi um yeah it doesn't get the two thumbs up it might get the just one thumb up but that's uh, a good start right anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later